In the previous video, we learned about strong bases. In this video, we want to focus on weak bases. Weak bases only partially dissociate or ionize in aqueous solution. If we have some generic weak base B, its ionization equation in water would be aqueous B plus water in the liquid phase is in equilibrium with BH plus aqueous plus OH minus aqueous. The base ionization constant expression would be BH plus times the concentration of hydroxide divided by the concentration of B. Because weak bases only partially ionize, the equilibrium concentration of the hydroxide ion is going to be much less than the initial concentration of the base. Therefore, in order to find the pH of the weak base solution, we will need the value of the base ionization constant as well as ice tables to find the equilibrium concentration of the hydroxide ion. Let's look at an example for finding the hydroxide ion concentration and a pH of a weak base solution. In this problem, we're asked to find the concentration of the hydroxide ion at equilibrium as well as the pH for a 0 0.100 molar ammonia solution. We're also given that the base ionization constant for ammonia is 1.76 times 10 to the minus 5. The first thing we want to do is identify whether this base is a weak base or a strong base. Since ammonia is not on our list of strong bases that we've memorized, we could assume that the ammonia is going to be a weak base. Because it's a weak base, we'll need to write the base ionization equation. So we have NH3 aqueous plus H2O liquid is in equilibrium with the ammonium ion in the aqueous phase and hydroxide ion in the aqueous phase. We can now set up the ice table. We have an initial concentration of ammonia of 0 0.100 molar, and we have initial concentrations of the ammonium ion and the hydroxide ion, which are both equal to zero. Since we're given the value of the base ionization constant, we know we'll have to use x in the change row. So the ammonia changes by negative x, whereas the ammonium and the hydroxide ion each increase by x. We could now assume that x is going to be much less than 0 0.1, since the value of the base ionization constant is very small less than 1 times 10 to the minus 4. Therefore, the equilibrium concentration of ammonia is 0 0.100, and the equilibrium concentrations of ammonium and hydroxide are both x. We can now write the base ionization constant expression and solve for x. So we know Kb is equal to the ammonium ion concentration times the hydroxide ion concentration divided by the NH3 concentration. This will have a value of 1.79 times 10 to the minus 5, which is the value of Kb. When we plug in the equilibrium concentrations, this is equal to x times x divided by 0 0.100. We can now solve for x. x squared equals 1.75 times 10 to the minus 5th times 0 0.100, which is equal to 1.79 times 10 to the minus 6. When we take the square root of both sides, we find x is equal to 1.34 times 10 to the minus 3. Since we made an assumption that x is much less than 1, and we now have a value of x, we can check the assumption. 1.34 times 10 to the minus 3 divided by 0.1 times 100 is 1.34%. This is less than 5%, so this was a valid assumption to make. Now that we know the value of x, x is the same as the hydroxide ion concentration at equilibrium. Since we have the hydroxide ion concentration at equilibrium, we can now find the pOH, which is pOH equals negative log 1.34 times 10 to the negative 3, or the pOH is 2.873. Since we're asked for the pH, we can take 14 minus the pOH, or 14 minus 2.873, to find that the pH of a 0 0.100 molar ammonia solution is 11.127. After watching this video, 
you should be able to differentiate weak bases from strong bases. You should also be able to write base ionization equations for aqueous solutions. Finally, you should be able to find the equilibrium hydroxide ion concentration and the pH for weak base solutions.